Okay, we've got the 22 8. We've looked at a couple of these uh, litter mates already in this uh, uh, class. Um, Durak Barras, uh, he's at lot 36. He's out of the commence bore, like we said, that uh, was a litter mate to creation back on a first litter gilt that was uh, a gilt that we really liked her pieces and her extreme bone and, and muscle and, and chest floor. Uh, pass it over to Clay. Yeah, this one, man, you said. Uh, the mother of extreme chest floor. This one's chest floor is impressive. Uh, when he comes at you, it is big, opened up, and all the way square to the ground. And you study how stout this uh, Duroc Barrow is, and it, it's impressive. You look how big that tail root is. That, to me, tells me he's going to be stout his whole life. Uh, you know, sometimes you worry about pigs running out of bone. I don't think this one will ever run out of bone. And he combines that with a good look and another one with good show pig proportions. Yeah, I mean, I sit here kind of question why this guy isn't headed to the Moyer boar stud uh, mm -hmm. or, or a boar prospect. Certainly, uh, you know, shorter in his length aside and, and still loose on both ends with a big foot and a, and a big hind leg that works. Um, you know, it, it doesn't take long to study this one and think uh, that that's an elite Duroc Barrel prospect for sure. And I'm thinking, uh, like we said, these 22 sure January barrows that sure I would think fit them state mm -hmm. fairs, the state Midwest state fairs. I don't care if it's uh, beginning of August, end of August, you know, you know how to feed them. But uh, I just think these, these barrows really have the proportions in, in the rib shape and, and, like we said, the chest floor to, to hold that long. This is 22-8, uh, lot 36, uh, Duroc Barrel out of commence.